everybody. Flat Top Dave, my big man LJ. LJ's feeling a lot better. She, he had uh, had the flu for about three, four days, so he's pretty sick. Uh, scared us. We had to take him in the hospital. So, but he's all better. That's great. Uh, tonight we're gonna do something. I realized that we haven't done in a while an American ration. We we like doing all the foreign rations, but we don't do in hardly any of our American stuff. So tonight we're gonna hit menu 13. Cheese tortellini in tomato sauce. Go ahead, big guy, open that up. That peelable seal. <laughs> open it Why on do the, they make so it? You gotta makes open it on the hard. point. If you open it on the point, it comes right out, buddy. And that's the peelable part. the uh, information card that gives you all the info on it. Nut raisin chest mix and our... Nut raisin chest mix? Isn't that what <laughs> Nut it is? raisin mix. Oh. <laughs> Slow down. Chocolate and powder. Chocolate pudding. Oh. Dessert powder. Crackers. <laughs> you gotta, like I said, buddy, you gotta slow down and read them. Uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Great beverage powder. Non fruit juicy juice, I guess. Uh, pepper sauce. Yep, pepper sauce. That's and like a hot sauce. FRH. And revenge. Okay. You want to go ahead and open up uh, that and show everybody what's in there, buddy? Yep. Splenda. Okay. That's a sweetener. Coffee. Genial coffee. Oops, that don't want to stay up there. The other coffee, moist tire wet, a wipe, uh, gum. Gum. There you go. And salt. Alrighty. I'll get my Quincy Barbershop cup out. Our FRH tonight. Haven't done one of these in a while. Uh -huh. I saw Steve the other day on one of his, and he doesn't put the main main entree in the actual FRH. He puts he was putting FRH in the package. Right. Yeah, I put the FRH in the package and then filled it to the line. You can see it on the bottom, which I thought was really, now if I get open, open sesame, there we go. What we didn't <laughs> get was a spoon for some reason. Yeah, we did, it's right there. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I said Not that. my Wolverine container. Oh, Looks good. And then what he did was he folded this over, pulled this up, folded this over. And then put his main entree up along the side of it. I thought that was kind of neat, kind of really. He said that way the chemicals from the uh, FRH don't get on his packaging. Let's let that set for a minute. And see if it does anything. Got our chocolate dessert, chocolate pudding dessert powder. You know what we should do? Wow. I saw Dub C do this. He put the actually put the coffee mm -hmm. in the, the chocolate pudding, so it made like a mocha pudding. What do you think? Yeah, why not? I'll try it. All right. Go ahead and take our genial coffee. Mm. I'm gonna be using. Uh, Let's put it in there. There's no more uh, things because when I started, I. You need to slow down, my buddy. You get going. 
too fast and you're making messes when you do. I don't mind the messes, I gotta clean them up anyway. But, less mess will be better, huh? Yeah. It's got raisins. I don't see too much else of anything. Mm -hmm. No, nope. that looks good. Let's put the crackers over here and we'll put the pudding in the middle ones. Let that sit for a minute. smell good. They smell like crackers. I mean, unfortunately, they're not the salted kind. We can make them salted. <laughs> Won't stick to the cracker. <laughs> but we have some salty peanut butter, and um, we can make them salty that way. Put our peanut butter up. Maybe. Maybe. You get my little helper out here. There we go. Cracker buddy? Sure. There you go. I have a little bit of peanut butter on a cracker myself. Whoops. This is the first time we've tried the tor cheese tortellini. Um, my son says that's one of his favorites was the cheese tortellini when he was in the military. So we'll have to see. Peanut butter as always. I love I love the peanut butter from MREs. Sorry for talking my mouth full. <laughs> peanut butter from the MREs is just really good. It's nice and smooth. And it lasts forever. <laughs> this will save. The only bad part is with the FRH, you gotta wait for the FRH to get done. Or if you just drop it in boiling water, let's just drop this baby in the boiling water over here. Because it's starting to get warm, but it just not, not getting through. I got some warm, I got some hot water over here. Get that baby in there, it'll be done in here for like two minutes. This is kind of a small emery-ish. Yes, because we're well, we're used stuff. to having we're used to eating the um foreign ones. That are great big huge rations. That mm, have so many things. Yep, let's go ahead and pop this dessert. Mocha pudding out. Looks pretty good. I see it. Of course, it's pudding. It's going to come out slow. Nice and thick. Tell you it's not the prettiest in the world, but 
<laughs> Let's give her a taste, buddy. A little bit gritty. I probably could have put a little more water in it. But I mean, it's, actually, the flavor is not bad, though. You can taste that little bit of coffee in it. But it's pretty good. I think the reason why it's a bit crunchy is because of the coffee, maybe, powder. Maybe. Either that or, like I said, just didn't get enough water in it. Mm -hmm. Didn't mix up enough. But like I said, the flavor's nice. Mm -hmm. And I like that, putting the coffee in there. That makes it gives it a nice little kick. Mm -hmm. A little bit of caffeine kick, a little bit of mm, added flavor. That would be good. What's that, a little bit is of peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Put a little peanut butter down there, put a little dab of peanut butter down there. You can give her a shot. Mm -hmm. I'll do it with a cracker, too. I'll do the same thing here. Mm. Tastes kind of like a Reese's cup. Mm-hmm. With a little coffee. That's the next kind of Reese's cup they should come out with is the Reese's cup with mocha. Coffee flavor. Put more in. <laughs> Pretty good that way, huh? Yep. You just push it right all out here. Squirt it right out like that. And the thing is, I'm not a huge fan of pudding, but this, I may have to start adding this to pudding. Chocolate <laughs> with a bit of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It is pretty good. Here, try it with a cracker. Mm, that's okay. I'll just mm. eat it like that. That is pretty good, though. You could always do a Dub C Megabyte with the cracker, the pudding, the peanut butter, and some peanuts. That'd be good. Mm. Alright, let's check this main. It should be getting hot by now. Oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. It only takes a few minutes that way. Yeah. Alright. This one's got the tear notch across the side. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on the bottom or on the short Top. side, so it's not as hard to handle. That's warm. Looks like a pasta type. It is tortellini's type of pasta, buddy. It's like a twisted, twisted pasta, and it's got cheese in it, so it's almost like a ravioli, almost. But there's a little more. A little more pasta to it. Mm -hmm. Looks really good though. That's that looks really nice. Mm. Got nice and warm. That's actually good. I like that. You're gonna try some hot sauce? Yeah. LJ likes his hot. I'm not a big hot sauce fan, so I let LJ have his hot sauce. Mix that around a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to get it everywhere on your side. No, but that's a lot for one bite. <laughs> this is actually very good. I'd have to say this one's mm -hmm. this has got it's got nice flavor. The sauce is not it's not watery sauce and it's not you know goopy sauce. It's good. I think it's got real good flavor. And with the salsa, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot better with a cracker too. Yep. It's very good. I like this. This is this an awesome meal. I mean I can say we don't do a lot of American ones because we just don't think about it. We have the foreign ones that we just everybody oh man them look really good so I, we always just jump at those. So this is a real nice change. I mean yes, granted it's a lot smaller than some of the other ones that we do, but that's because it's a single person one meal. <coughs> this is very good, very good. <coughs> Ooh. I don't think that hot sauce was a good idea. Still having a little issues with your coughing, huh, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll have to. This meal definitely, I would say, rates a good nine out of ten, probably. Eight out um, of ten. I'm not a big fan of nut raisin mix myself, but that's okay. But it is a nice addition. It's something you could, if you didn't want to eat it with your meal, you could stuff it in your pocket and walk around and eat it later. Um, the pudding with the pudding with the coffee in it was really nice and then we added the peanut butter to the side that was really good too 
so uh, very nice and the cheese tortellini was very very surprising it was a very nice meal um, I like it really well so I guess uh, ben, ben or, my son Ben was right and the cheese tortellini is a pretty good meal so all right so at this point in time we uh, we uh, uh, say thank you guys because we appreciate everybody for watching um, if you haven't already please pop that little subscribe button down there um, that would be great um, a thumbs up would be great we like the thumbs up um, and then hit that little bell that little bell over there that's good for five years of good luck plus it lets you know whenever we do another video um, I want to thank you all again for tuning in um, and look to see you again later on with another video bye